Good day. I'm Brian Smith. I'm a student at Full Sail University. I'm going for my mobile gaming masters and I'm working on my capstone project, World War I Flying Circus, where you fly for family, country, and prestige, die and be forgotten. And you're going to find out a little bit more about the prestige with this lost contact processing and, uh, and logic that I've just added to the World War I, World War I Flying Circus. So imagine you're, you're in a dogfight. So here we are in a dogfight. Here's uh, Lord Olive on the uh, horizon. This is Baron von Red's canopy. And uh, Baron von Red is going to go to the right fast. And Lord Olive is going to make the mistake and also going um, to the left fast. And so they will go far enough away where they will lose sight of each other. And at that point, there's really two reasons for getting here. One is this is a two dimensional game that you're playing on this two dimensional field. And it could very well be that somebody does a barrel roll, barrel roll to the right and somebody else does a barrel roll to the left and they lose sight of each other. So we want to be able to bring them back into contact with each other. And the other reason is if you're playing this all shot up, you may want to leave the field and, uh, and uh, give the, uh, the token victory to the other player. And this is where prestige comes in. So if you leave the field, but the other player still wants to search and fight, well, if you do flee, if you're able to flee, then uh, you will lose prestige and they will gain prestige because they drove you from the sky. But in this scenario you here, let's just assume that these two players just, oh, we just turned the wrong way and we've lost contact. So I want to search for the other player. And so now Baron von Red is seeing the, the results of that turn, lost contact, and um, she wants to search. And there we are. We put the planes back together again, kind of at a new, at the neutral starting position, and they can continue their dogfight. Let's say one of them does get uh, shot up a bit, and Baron von Red here wants to uh, to get away, and Lord Olive doesn't quite um, think. You know, maybe the Baron Red's going to be going forward, but they turn away from each other again, and another lost contact. So Lord Olive will say, "Well, I still want to search for for the Baron. Pass the device back to the Baron." And the Baron says, I want to run away. And so at this point then too, the Baron, if this was network play, would be losing prestige points you know, for, uh, for fleeing the, the air. And now um, here it is with Lord Olive, right? Congratulations, and Lord Olive would be receiving additional uh, prestige points. Not as many as for shooting down the Red Baron, uh, but would receive prestige points. So that's basically how the game works. And if they're the, you know, the last, I'll show this real quick, but the last um, uh, kind of you know, the uh, last bit of logic with this is that if they both want to leave the field, well, then it's just simply a draw. So if they both say, I want to leave the field, then again, it's just simply a draw. So it's a, uh, you know, it's, it's a both want to search and then they go back into the fighting or one wants to flee, one wants to search, one wants to flee, one wants to search, or one wants to flee, one wants to search. And so then they, uh, you know, then they'll be awarded the prestige points based on that. And if it's both a draw, then, um, then that's it. So anyway, uh, your thoughts and letters, uh, cards and letters, let me know what you think about this uh, additional feature and if I can make it any better. Thank you. So we'll stop the sharing and stop the recording.